All right, meantime, we've been reporting a lot recently about commercial pilots being the targets of laser strikes. It's happened dozens of times at Newark Airport in New Jersey alone. So what's it like to have to deal with that distraction? The Weather Channel's Dave Malkoff takes you to a unique place that lets ordinary people experience what's on the other side of the cockpit door. 1.73 million passengers. Delta 9 left of Juliet, Delta 9 12. That's how many people fly in the U.S. every day. Still, what happens up in the cockpit so cool. is a bit of a mystery to most passengers. My name is Cressy Lewis. She works at the zoo and... My name is Alex Addison. I'm a software engineer. They are not pilots, but today... They're about to fly a commercial jet with no license. Oh. I tell you, thumb up or thumb down. That's oh. what that is. Yeah, okay. That's what I'm telling you to do. Okay. This $400 simulator ride is the only one of its kind in the nation. This is so cool. Just pick up a little speed. 70, 80, 100, 130, 140, rotate. Oh, awesome. And wheels up. Oh, this is harder than it looks. Here at Delta's museum on the grounds of Atlanta's airport. See some uh, skyscrapers out the left. South Atlanta. Beautiful. Anyone can pilot a 737. Yeah, my job does not involve flights. Even Cressy from the zoo. Yeah, never been up in the air like this before. Just to be clear, this is no amusement park ride. Let's take you across the street to where the Delta pilots use the exact same simulators to do their training at a cost of at least $12 million a piece. I want you to turn a little bit more left, follow these wings. Follow the wings. With the push of a button, the operator can take you to Honolulu or Hong Kong, turn on a storm, and turn off the sun. Ah. Now they're gonna switch seats here. Not only that, we're actually gonna turn on the motion outside to get the full experience. Woo, here we go. Woo. Of course, real pilots have to deal with much more than you experience here. Try doing all of this with a dangerous laser pointed at you from below. According to the FAA, it happened to 35 pilots in 10 states last week alone. I had no idea that the pilot had all of this control. I kind of thought it was a little bit of autopilot the whole time. Building a new level of respect. One pretend pilot at a time for today. Still haven't found the cup holders yet. Still lucky. Dave Malkoff in Atlanta. I think I'm wow. okay with the Bloody Mary in the back. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I'm not be up there to see I remember that. driver's ed simulators. Did you guys have those? No. Yeah. Have a simulator. Really? Yeah, we had a yeah. car. car no, a before car. you could hit the road, you had to have a simulator. Oh, no, I, I didn't like, have weeks. that. Maybe really? that was my problem. Yes, Maybe that was I was such a bad driver. Because I was too short. Oh, my gosh. Our driver's ed teacher would always make everybody take him to the drive-thru at McDonald's because he liked the coffee. Oh, that's good. And that's everyone good. would tell you, like, you know, he's going to take you to McDonald's. That's the route because he wants his coffee. I think that's good practice. Getting around that corner sometimes is really hard.